everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be doing Easter taste test, so let's get started. Cadbury cream egg ice cream. I'm really looking forward to trying this one because I love the Cadbury cream egg. For those of you who don't know what a Cadbury cream egg is, this is it here. Inside, this is what it looks like. I don't eat them very often. I used to absolutely love them though. Every Easter I'd look forward to them. But will it be as good in the ice cream form? I really hope so. The ratio of flavour looks okay in here. Let's plonk it into a bowl though. You can see in there it's got a little bit of caramel. I'd like to see more caramel in there. I'm going to dig that bit out. got choc chips in there as well and the vanilla flavor it just tastes like a straight vanilla it's supposed to be like a vanilla fondant flavor when you're having a cream egg the chocolate flavored ice cream in here is actually quite nice and rich and chocolatey I was worried it wasn't gonna be chocolatey enough mm. I had a little bit of a taste of the caramel swell that goes through it and I do love that caramel swell I'd like a little bit more of the caramel swell to be in there you can see it's a little bit Hey, ripped off. I think if there was more of that caramel in there, then I would like this and I'd buy it again. But for seven bucks, would I buy it again? Probably not. And does it taste like a Cadbury cream egg? Sort of. I actually think this ice cream is pretty good. The balance of the flavors is good. As you can see, it's sort of half-half with the chocolate ice cream and then the white vanilla fondant flavored ice cream as well. It sort of reminds me of a Cadbury cream egg, but really, I'd rather just buy a Cadbury cream egg. On to some more Cadbury's Easter candy, and these ones are a limited edition because it's tied in with a Peter Rabbit movie. These are basically straight chocolate, but I thought, how cute is this one? Let's unwrap it and look at what the rabbit looks like itself. Oh no, he's broken! Whoops! Oh, he's cute! I like him! As far as Easter bunnies go, he's good. He doesn't look too dopey, a little bit dopey, but that's to be expected. You know what? I'm not really a fan of them dressing rabbits up in clothes though. You want to see the back side of him? Of course you do. That's what it looks like. Basically, this is just like Cadbury's chocolate, which is always really yummy. Mmm. I love that. If I was a kid and I got that, I'd be really happy. But what would make me happier is this one because I think there's more chocolate in it. This one comes with little chocolate buttons inside. Peter Rabbit and Friends Family Jigsaw Puzzle. Oh, well that's it on the back. Hours of fun there. Well, at least a minute. I, I don't see how they can call that a family jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> but I suppose it's a very cute thing to keep. I love doing puzzles. I don't do them very often, but I love them. But I get obsessed and I sit there until the whole thing's finished. I don't care if it's three in the morning. I want to get that done. It's actually got all the characters on the side there too. That's really cute. Let's have a look inside here. Don't want to ruin my puzzle. I open that delicately. It's not what I expected. It's actually got the chocolate buttons in there separate. I thought they'd be in it. I just think that would have been more fun. That to me just looks like I've got a bag of cooking chocolate. Um, right, we don't want that bit, that's boring. Have a look at the packaging on it. It's actually quite pretty and cute. Aw, he's actually really cute. I'm gonna open this one up. It is basically just a straight Cadbury chocolate egg. It's actually quite a decent size. I'm not gonna taste it, I'm gonna eat this later. M&M Shaky Egg. I love Easter eggs when there's something inside it. It makes it a lot more fun to me. And I got the crispy M&Ms. These came in lots of different flavors. I love the presentation of this one. This looks really fun. Let's open it up. Oh, how cute is this one? He looks really worried and he should be worried because I love crispy M&Ms. I'm sorry, mate, I do. Unwrap it. Oh, it's actually got an M on the chocolate. Hello, Woody Woodpecker's had a go at my one. Usually with Easter eggs, I like to push this bit in and then use the Easter egg as a cup. You have a system? Everyone has a system when it comes to eating food. Right, oops. Ooh, have a look in there. Oh, there's quite a few M&Ms, which is good. Oh, but it gets better, it really does. There are actually little speckly eggs inside here. Very cool. And they're really pretty. Lots of different colors in here. Mmm. I love crispy M&Ms. And the chocolate itself. 
Yeah, yum. I absolutely love this one. As a kid, I got one Easter egg and one Easter egg only, and I never really knew what I was gonna get. Yeah, but now look at me as an adult. Far out. Next up, I've got this fella, and I got this because I thought this is ridiculously cute and adorable. It's a dinosaur Easter egg. I didn't know such a thing existed. I don't even know who makes this. Decorated hollow milk chocolate dinosaur with speckledy chocolate dinosaur eggs. Can't work out who this is made by though. It's made in the United Kingdom. There you go. Sometimes I sound like such an old person. I go, oh well, there you go. <laughs> it says imported to Australia by KCL Australia. I love the way they've packaged this up with the little green packaging too, because as a kid, I would have kept this packaging for ages. I didn't have many toys. I'd play with the packaging. I had a sad childhood, I know. There is a nut warning on there, so this dinosaur might have nuts. Wait. <laughs> Let's open it up. It's not that easy to get out of here. I'm worried I'm going to spill it and break him. Wow. He's so adorable. I love him. And look at all the eggs underneath there too. Eleven. There's eleven eggs in here. I like the colour of this. That looks like a dinosaur egg. I'm going to eat your babies. chocolate is actually pretty good and so is the candy coating on the outside. I thought it was going to be more of a novelty thing where he looks really cute and amazing and it just tastes awful. Look at the detail on this dinosaur. That is so cool. He's even got little orange eyes. So let's try some of the dinosaur. Oh this feels so wrong, it feels so wrong, it feels so wrong, I'm doing it. It's not the best chocolate in the world, but it's quite edible. I prefer the Cadbury and the M&M stuff. Not quite as good as the other ones, but it's still a nice idea. Cadbury Crunchy Bunny, and how cute is he? I love the expression on its face, because sometimes, as I said, Easter bunnies are a little bit like demented looking. Oh, he's cute. Oh, yeah, no, he's all right. That's what his backside looks like. The detail on it's nice. It doesn't seem to rattle, so I think the crunchy spun honeycomb bits are actually within the chocolate. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's nice. You can't actually see the honeycomb crunchy bits in there. They're very small, so you don't taste them a lot. They're just very subtle in there, but it's actually quite a nice Easter egg idea. Now, it wouldn't be an Easter taste test in Australia without trying something Dara Lee. And today I've got this speckledy hand-rolled milk chocolate egg. This is something I actually would not buy. Even though it is absolutely beautiful, this sucker cost me $12.99. I mean, that's a lot of money for that. Very basic packaging, but it's nice and bright, and basically the Easter egg stands out in this, and it does look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, very pretty, isn't it? Oh, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. It feels quite heavy, which is nice. So the chocolate on it is gonna be quite thick, which I'm happy about because I've spent so much money on it. Imagine all the chocolate I could have bought for $12.99. Oh, oh, it's really hard to bite into. Not without disconnecting and breaking your jaw. Mmm, <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> Crunchy, very sweet. I love the chocolate on this one and the sprinkles go really nicely with that chocolate. Honestly, if you get some on one of these, send them outside because it's, oh my gosh, there's just hundreds and thousands everywhere in this room. It's just crazy. You can actually see how thick that chocolate is. It's quite a little bit thicker than a lot of the other Easter eggs. This is something I think that a grandma should get grandkids because mom can't afford this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you want to support me and my channel, please remember to give this video the thumbs up, share and subscribe for more. I'm eating sprinkles off the table. Yes, I am that disgusting.